Hey guys, it's Hitman23. Happy Saturday. I am here to do a video on a card show. A card show wrap-up. What did I get at the card show? Holy cannoli, a card show here. Here in Southwest Florida. The first one in about 10 years in, this, in these parts, as they would say. Um, it was up in Cape Coral, which is about, eh, about a 40, 45 minute drive from here, which is fantastic. I don't have to drive two plus hours to get to a show. Um, and it's, uh, you know, the first show here, like I said, in a, in, in a while. And I did meet the, um, I met the, uh, organizer of the show and he's going to try to do them every, you know, at least every like other month. And, uh, which is really promising. Uh, the show today was a good, a very good turnout. It was a small show. About 10, no, definitely like more than 10. I think 12 to 13 tables. Um, lots of football and basketball, lots of modern, um, what you would expect. Um, one guy had a table full of box, you know, modern stuff, baseball, basketball, football, and his prices were unbelievably crazy. I know he was selling um, hobby boxes of what is it? Uh, I don't know if it was absolute football or, or if it was prison football or whatever. They were like $1,800 a box, $950 a blaster. One of the guys who asked him the price on it, I thought he was going to have a, I thought he was going to have a stroke when he found out the price. It's ridiculous. And the guy had many, many, many boxes. So whatever, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't get into that stuff. But uh, overall it was, you know, it was, it was fun to go to. I did get some cards. So let's get right to it and uh, show you what I got. Um, I spent about 80 bucks and I got, you know, I think I, I got a fairly good, you know, a good take home. So um, I'll leave the, the better or best stuff to the end. And I'll just go through what I pulled out of um, a six for a dollar box and uh, we'll just get right into it. This is a uh, 1995 Fleer All-Star uh, Wade Boggs that uh, has a little, um, a little uh, commemorative um, foil of the Pittsburgh Pirates All-Star Game in 1994. So there's that. Shout out to Wade Boggs fan. So um, that's the front. And the back has Matt Williams. So I did get it for the Boggs in the Yankee uniform. So there's that. Uh, next, uh, another uh, Wade Boggs Diamond Destiny. This is upper deck. Um, I, I don't know what year this is, but it's got, it's cool. It's got this little, um, uh, um, not acrylic. What do we call that? <laughs> Whatever that clear stuff is. Acetate. There we go. I think we start with an A. Little acetate circle in the middle. Again, another cool one of Boggs in his Yankee uniform. And again, like I said, these are all like six for a dollar cards. Uh, this is a cool one. Uh, Tops Laser. And this is out of, uh, this is out of 1996. It is a Jim Tomey. And you can see here, um, it's got this graphic of the flames. And then down here, it looks like it may be a different, like a black version because all his name and everything is blacked out here. So there's a Topps Laser. Those are very cool cards. Pick that up. And then I had to get this one. This is uh, another Topps Laser from the same year. Uh, I believe 96. It's the Mike Mussina. That's that card's fire, no pun intended. That's really cool. These cards must be a bear to get graded. You imagine trying to grade that with all those little points and edges? Ooh, man. That's 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 a damn cool card. That was a cool couple of cool Hall of Famers. I got some rando, you know, a, a Bowman first Ricky Lede card for my Yankee PC. Flashing the, the chicklets. And his cool uh, 1996 Pinnacle Denny's Hideo Nomo hologram. That little 90s, that 90s style right there, the holograms. Gotta love that. Uh, 1997 Fleer Ultra of Laddie. The back of that card. Vladdy Guerrero. Uh... It was just shiny, so, you know, anything shiny attaches my, uh, you know, attention. And it's the 2011 Diamond Stars Chase Utley. That's just a beautiful shiny card. Had to pick that up. A, this is a, gosh, man, year-wise, I don't know, but it's a Topps Gold label. It looks like maybe a 90, 98. I can't read the date. They're really nice Todd Helton Gold label. And then, <laughs> this is a great one. 
This is a uh, pinnacle. I don't know what the little artist proof. It's an artist proof pinnacle, and it's uh, 1995, and it's the Bob Hamlin. I just love. I mean, how do you not love that card? Look at that big dude just like huffing it. I I would assume to first. His helmet's right here, flying off his head. He's got them big old glasses on. Look at his hair. It's just that is just like you know. A defensive end running with a fumble trying to score a touchdown. So that is a great card. I had to have that. So picked that one up for the kooky PC. And I picked up a couple of these uh, 2000 EX. This is um, Andres Galarraga. And again, it has the acetate center there. You can kind of see my finger through the back. And that's cool with the, um, you know, the purple Rockies colors on that card. And I picked up the Fred McGriff as well. Very cool. I'm not sure I might have this card already, but oh well, if I do, not bad. Picked up this nice Pacific Collection Tino Martinez. That's a cool card. Very cool card. Shout out to Yankees Jets fan 71. And this is a cool one too. This is a um, Upper Deck Holographics. This is... 1999. So that's a 2000 holographics. It's a really cool Greg Maddox. Again, very shiny. Very cool card. In the back of that one. And I just picked up a 97 Chipper Jones, which I didn't have. And I picked up this uh, Ben Grieve prospect card, which I didn't have. That uh, was a 97. I uh, just, again, uh, this is Own the Game. This is an insert set in 2002 tops. And I got the Larry Walker. Always like those. Those are nice inserts. Um, always like this player a lot. Um, this is a 97 Flair Showcase, Wave of the Future Bobby Abreu. That's a really cool looking card. And it's got the etching. Like that wave is actually kind of etched. And it's got, you know, it's... Um, it's got what you may call it on it. it. It's like a sir. It's it's not flat. It's a it's a it's a really cool, very cool card. So again, less than a quarter for all these cards. Pretty crazy. Again, another shiny card, ninety six Fleer, and this is a soaring star, Juan Gone. Again, look at that. That is just fantastic. Love that. Love that shine in that card too. Very cool. And then, again, another one, Barry Larkin. This is out of Upper Deck. I think this is Upper Deck 3D or something like that. Um, Promotion. Very cool. Saw that in there and grabbed that out of the box. In the back. So how many boxes picked... for 1800 did you get? Yeah, 1800 bucks. No, none. Zero. Zilch. 97 Flare. Top 30. Bernie Williams. Shout out to my boy Victor Negron. Bernie. Burn, baby, burn. I picked those. I picked Bernie's whip whenever I can get them. And just a nice 1997 Fleer Ultra Daryl Strawberry in his Yankee uniform in the cage. Very cool. And then I never had one of these before. This is the Leaf Steel. So this is like a metal card. And uh, I really liked... Uh, when I I always I always liked Kenny Lofton, but when I saw him on the um, Trevor Bauer um, YouTube channel, eating dinner and doing an interview, he just won me over even more. This guy is awesome. So picked up a little Kenny Lofton there. I love that. That's really cool. Got some heft to it. And in the back, Kenny Lofton, great player. And then I got this um, Prolifics. This is an Upper Deck MVP Prolifics. Uh, it's a Manny, Manny Ramirez. I believe this is like 2000. Again, nice shiny looking card. Very, very nice looking card. So I got that. And then the cards that I had to take out of the top loaders because the top loaders are just junk. Uh, nice tops rookie card of uh, Mike Mussina. It's the gold winner. Saw that. Can't go wrong with that for the price I paid. So. Picked that up and also picked up another one of his. This is actually his true rookie, his 91 okay. upper deck. See you later. See you later, dude. She's going to drop me off right at work. So I'll see you later. Okay. Picked a couple of Ron Gant rookies. I got the Fleer and I got the Dunruss. 
I picked up this uh, 93 Fleer uh, Major League Prospects Sterling Hitchcock from my Yankee PC. He's also signing an autograph, so that's another, another cool reason I got the card. And then slowly putting this set together, the uh, 94 Pinnacle Museum Collection. Picked up the Dante. Very nice there. Just gorgeous cards. That Dufex. And then just for the fact that he's in his catcher uniform. That's the only reason I bought these cards. I bought this uh, Charles Johnson Sports Flicks. This is a 95, I believe. 95 Sport Flicks. So he's in his catcher uniform. So I picked that one up. I picked that one up. I dug those old teal Marlins uniforms. Just so unique. And that one up. And then a couple of rookies I picked up. Again, less than a quarter. Marquise Grissom, Fleer, uh, not Fleer, I'm sorry, Leaf, 90 Leaf. And a 1982 Tops Jorge. There it's Jorge Bell. They changed the name, changed, they, they, they changed the name of his spelling of his name. After that, he just went by G E O R G E. So there we go, guys. That's that little section. And then also in that uh, in that uh, box, I picked up some of these Yankee Stadium Legacy cards. So uh, this would be a very, very uh, tough set to complete. There's like a card for every game played at Yankee Stadium in its history. So thousands of cards. So I took, picked up card number, or I'm going to say game number. The card number and the game number are the same. So game number 301, Antonio Lazuri. Card no, or game number 398, Urban Shocker. Very cool name. I like that. Urban Shocker. And I got another. Um, this is George Pipgris. P-I-P-G-R-A-S. Game 403. That would be a fun set to complete, man. Same. George Pipgris. Game 423. A lot of good history on these cards. Good, good information. And game 448, uh, Hall of Famer Herb Pennock. Game 473, another Tony Lazeri. And fast way forward, game 6,697. That's Johnny Damon. So those are, those are fun, cool cards. And then I got from a different vendor, these are just... Um, I just picked up some stuff. He had he was doing some weird, not weird, but he had, he had these like mystery packs. They were just sitting on his table. And then um, when I went back later, he had opened all the mystery packs and spread the cards out because nobody's really going to his table with those mystery packs. Everything was like in brown paper bags. Nobody was having it. So he put the cards out and then people were there buying cards. So I just picked up, picked up some stuff for the PC. I picked up this uh, 2019 um, first Bowman, Bowman Chrome of Isaiah Gilliam for the Yankees. Uh, got this, this is what, 2003, oh, I'm sorry, 2008, I apologize, 2008 Bowman Chrome Bobby Abreu in his Yankee uniform, I liked him as a Yankee, uh, same, uh, 2008 Bowman Chrome CC Sabathia, future Hall of Famer there, and a Jimmy Rollins, and then I got this, this is out of Topps Chrome, Finest, uh, looks like 2020 Tops Finest. I got the insert, the man. I got the Bryce Harper. That's a cool looking card. Very, uh, very nice insert from Tops there. And I got this Ronald Acuna Jr. Select. Um, and this must be some sort of insert. I don't know what it's called. Uh, phenomenal or something. I don't know. It's really small on there, but there's wording on there. And I just picked that up. It's nice looking there. Good, good looking card. I got to have this Topps Greatness Returned. It's the Derek Jeter, Glaber Torres duel from 2019 Tops, And then a 1984 35th anniversary Mike Trout card. Very nice. You got to pick up the trout so you can see a trout. And then I picked up some just cheapo packs. Three cheapo packs for the pack PC. A couple of 1990 tops big. I picked up a first series pack. 
And I picked up a second series pack. So it was cool. I love my unopened packs. And then I picked up this. Uh, this is a 2003 play ball with Teddy Ballgame on the cover. So that's cool. Those are going my unopened packs collection. And then the, the last uh, four cards are the big cards of the day. I picked up two 1971 Tops needs for my uh, my set. I picked up card number 64. Is the uh, National League RBI leaders with Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, and Billy Williams. And I also picked up the National League home run leaders with same three players, Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, and Billy Williams. So those are very cool. Go right into the to this set that I'm building. And then I got this really sharp looking, nice, you know, very well put together card here. The 1966 Tops Harmon Killebrew. Anytime I see a Hall of Famer like this, raw and the card's in really nice shape, I will pick it up. That's just a really beautiful looking card. So I got that. And then the Peace de la Resistance. Um, had to have this card. I think I paid 20 for it. And I, I, um, I have other another version of it, but probably maybe the most famous junkyard, junkyard, junk era card known. Um, it's the uh, 1989 Billy Ripken F face version, full on X rated version. Didn't have it. I had the I had the factory set, and the factory set came with the black box version. So I didn't have this version. Always wanted it. I felt, you know, they're going for about, I think, anywhere from 18 to 20 bucks. I figured, what the heck, man. I'll just pick it up for 20 bucks. Looks really nice. Had to have it. So that's it, guys. That was my pickup from uh, this show. And um, it was fun. It was great having a local show. That's all I can say. I'm really, I'm really you know, appreciative of that, that, that some, somebody thought to do a show here and, and, and pulled it together. So I will definitely return to the show and hopefully they'll be able to keep growing and offering more and better stuff next time. Uh, but no complaints from me there. Um, I'm going to fly out of here because it's getting long. So I appreciate everybody viewing. I appreciate the comments, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll probably be back with some other stuff. I got some other stuff in the mail the last couple of days I want to show as well. But uh, that's it. May the cardboard God shine upon you, 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 and you. And I will catch you on the next video. Everybody have a great one. Who's going to take us out today? Let's have Billy Ripken take us out today.